views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Truth is funny with Colette Steffen. We'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. Hi, this is Colette Marie Steffen. Welcome to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay tuned for the next hour and experience the instant relief of tuning into your uh, intuition. Shift happens every Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time, live on the uh, radio waves and in the archives at thetruthisfunny.com and you can also go to transformationtalkradio.com the energetic shifts are still accessible through what I call HSN the higher self network and uh, you can uh, receive these energetic shifts if you listen later if you're listening now Uh, we love to hear from you you feel free to call in at 1-800-930-2819 I have um, one of my favorite energetic practitioners on the show today Mark Kettenbach he is a passionate per- person focused on results. His inspiring energy helps people to find their true passion in life. His energetic work and teachings are long lasting, proven, and empower his clients to get exactly what they want out of their lives. Mark is an energetic speaker, author, transformational coach, a martial artist with more than three decades of experience, but he doesn't look like it because he looks way younger, (laughs) and a certified trainer in several energetic modalities, hypnosis, coach, and NLP trainer. Uh, So people like to call Mark a new age shaman, and he is also co-founder of two powerful transformational tools, Nice to Have and Boosting Intentions. In 2014, he co-founded Energetic Upgrade Seminars with me, and uh, we have been told this is state-of-the-art uh, energetic shifting and uh, we're excited because our online program that we were working on for a year is now out mark are you there hi colette yes uh, i am it's Thank so good to talk to loving you loving introduction <laughs> i feel younger already <laughs> yeah there you go like you don't look like you have three decades of experience in anything <laughs> <laughs> sounds good <laughs> i like that yeah, yeah, actually, it is. Uh, years go by. It's, I, right now, I'm training since 36 years. Can't believe it. Phew. <laughs> that is a, yeah, like, wow. That is quite a while. Yeah, and I'm telling you, the online program, I love it. I am I was doing my, I, I can't, I can't, can I say that on, on the radio show? I actually did my own online program again. <laughs> yes, there you <laughs> I go. I would have signed up. And you know what? I found stuff I haven't been thinking about for a long time. So I'm, <laughs> I was wondering. What happened here? <laughs> so you are you, you saying run? that you took our program? Yeah, I yeah. took our own program, went through it like you know it's fourteen days, but it's one day in between is always blocked. So you go and do the stuff we talk about, and there is stuff on there you talk about. I thought to me, oh, that is kind of a new perspective, and then, <laughs> then I myself talk, and I was like. When did I say that? Interesting. <laughs> it is interesting because, like, you know, putting an online program together is, a, you know, it, it it's time consuming because of all the video oh. and the. Oh, my God. You know, 14 yeah. months it took us. Yeah. And but like we're getting some awesome feedback. People are mm-hmm. um, having some awesome results from it. And and you were just um, out at an event. What What was that about in Germany? Oh, that was uh, some people who are like, I don't want to mention it, but they, they do a lot of coaching with other tools, and they were nosy to see what Energetic Upgrade is about, so I had a almost two days to spend with them and to talk about it, to show stuff, and that was really nice. They were very interested in it, and I'm getting, I got to hurry up 
to get it out, our program in German, because a lot of people want it, but they don't trust themselves enough that they buy it in English, even though if we, we tell everybody, buy it now in English, whenever we have it ready, October, November, this year in German, you can shift over, switch over to the German ones, and you don't lose a single dime because once you switch over, you get it for another year. Yeah, there you people buy it for one year of access. <laughs> the, you know, you and I um, have um, two different time zones. We're, you know, an ocean apart. Yep. And so it makes it kind of, it's interesting, like how we have clients from all over Europe and then in North America. And it's really interesting, the different perspective that people have, you know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's cool. I love working with all these people from everywhere, you know? <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. And so, you know, you and I wanted to talk today about, you know, moving forward and building the life you want rather than, you know, um, being stuck in what you have and yeah. we wanted to talk about that we we do have a caller on the line already here but we'll just talk a little bit about that and we'll have to take a quick break and then we'll come back and grab this caller so cool. yeah because i just want to make sure we get this you know that you get you have time to be able to explain what you mean by building the life you want so let's let's go for it here <laughs> sure sure well i always um I want to, when I'm at your show, Colette, I know we call it correct a lot. You shift so much energy for people. But once we're on, we're going to want to share something people can grab right away in terms of different thinking or different behaving. Because, see, the online program, that's where people really learn our tools. But it's hard to, to, to explain those tools in, in, a, in a radio show. So, therefore, I was thinking about, okay, what do I witness a lot? I witness a lot that people are mostly perceiving the world today through the media. They watch television or radio or newspapers and so forth. And a lot of them get in the habit, of course, that they run into stuff they don't like. They don't want to have war. They don't want to have this and that, which is, of course, we all understand. We, don't, we want to have peace on the planet. So then people join groups where they against this, against that, and all of this. But from an energetic point of view, you got to understand as much as a person might be against war, it will still feed this whole uh, field of war. If you want something different than that, so for example, if people want peace or want to live in a different way, then go put your energy into that. Look up. On the, uh, on the internet, where are groups they kind of do sustained living, where are people who join into sharing each other's stuff, where if, if something you want to do is not out there yet, we'll start and, and get it out there. So what I'm saying is focus on what you want, not what you don't want. And I know we've been talking about this back and forth, but a lot of people really, really need a reminder on that. Since you're subconscious, doesn't take it in. So do not think about a blue elephant and you have the blue elephant in your head because your subconscious mind thinks in pictures and there is not, not there is no picture for no, right? So not a blue elephant comes down to a blue elephant. So no war comes down to war. And that's where mm -hmm. the energy goes. Yeah, that's, that's so, uh, you know, I love how you said that because, um, you know, what we focus on, and this is uh, something Phil said on the show one time, that if you want to um, have a good future, participate in that future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so and I thought, yeah, that was, that's pretty clear because, as you said, you know, um, we are inundated with, like, negative information, and there's a lot of good happening out there. It was really interesting when you mentioned the sustainable living. Because I, um, I just saw something where a man posted uh, on Facebook about how, in, you know, uh, during the elections in the United States, there's a lot of people like, you know, watching all that. And he said he got people to grow gardens instead. <laughs> yeah, um, right. And, and, you know, these people now are all the produce is coming and they're sharing it with other people. And, you know, this is kind of what you're basically talking about. Like if it makes you happy to uh, grow food, grow food. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm right. saying? I also, by the way, since you mentioned Facebook, I, I use Facebook a lot to create my reality. What I'm saying is 
Facebook, Facebook does a lot of, you know, research and what you like and you get more than, you don't see what everybody is sending you or posting. Facebook has an algorithm going uh, according to what you have been liking, what you were looking at longer from those people or the same area, you get more posts. So what I do is I know that I can't have a realistic point of view to life because there's so much data you always miss. So you might as want to get your um, focus on the stuff you like. So if people yeah. keep on posting stuff I don't like, I put them, I'll put them on that I don't see their posts anymore. So I only get posts of stuff that is positive, that I like, that is nice. It's going towards where I want to go. So if I now open my Facebook account, it looks like the perfect road to where I want to go. And people <laughs> post. I'll use that for steering my reality. Cool. Um, we have to take a quick break here. You're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio with Colette Marie Stephan and my guest today, Mark Kettenbach. And when we return, we're going to take this call and we're going to share more ways to move energy. Uh, call in 1-800-930-2819. Let's make some shift happen. <laughs> Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit tools to awaken.com today. 1230 WBLQ. We're back on The Truth is Funny with Colette Marie Stefan and my guest today, Mark Kettenbach from Germany. And Mark, can you just share Hello. your contact information <laughs> with everyone? Oh, I'd love to do that. www.markmarkkettenbach.com or info at markkettenbach.com or you go on Facebook and you find myself. Uh, I have a coaching website plus a personal, uh, what do you call that, page and you will find both of us on energeticupgrade.com, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, we have a couple callers here that I want to have been patiently waiting uh, that would like to have some energy shifted. We're going to take the first call from Aurora from Paris, France. Oh, cool. Are you, are, are you there, Aurora? I'm here. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Hey, Aurora. How are you? I'm having a major meltdown, and I called on the perfect exact time. That I, saw. I got both barrels there, and I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, good. What can we do for you today? I need a little help with my magic carpet ride <laughs> because I just had a major meltdown over. I'm really, what you just, all of what you just said about, um, focusing on your life and what you want and not what you don't want. I've been doing that for quite some time. And I realized that where you put your energy is what you get. And it's been really showing up for me faster and more and really good, good mostly. <laughs> but today so I'm sitting in the prefecture getting my card back and my, my permission to live here card. Cause I live in France and I'm American by nationality and Californian rather, I'd rather say, but um, I looked at this lady and thought, mm, I bet she's a lawyer. I should have been a lawyer. I wish I were a lawyer. And I came home and I received uh, a call that I had to deal with some tax things from the United States. And I don't want to pay taxes in the United States. I'm an immigrant in France and I pay taxes here. And so I have had to talk to the law department and I just thought, uh, okay, okay so there you go. You want to so um, strengthen that? Because I have so much situation anger is about worked United out, States. right? So what on a Pardon? scale of zero? Yep. Yeah, I was just going to say on a zero, uh, a scale of zero to ten, ten being the worst. Where are you? Yeah, it's worse. It's okay, 10. what number is worse? Uh, it's not right now. It's really not right down because I've calmed down. But at first, I mean, it's just this rage. I have this. Rage at the United States that I Give us a number. just Give us a number. don't know how. Yeah, what, ten. What, ten. Okay, so she. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with the perception real quick. Mm hmm Okay. How about now? It's it's. I usually can manage it, and I have been managing it for a time, and I really felt that I had made peace with it. And Okay, but it right now, up, in, so just in that, what, number? what number are you at? Oh, six. Yeah, okay, it's good, moving good, down. Good, good, good. Yeah. It, so it triggers is, a lot refugee stuff. It triggers a lot that you can run as far as you want and just still get after you. That coming from a past life where you've been hunted, hunted by not the government, but maybe by a king or a ruler of that country. So it's a lot of ancestral stuff that's catching you up. Mm -hmm. Let's make you stronger at that. All right, cool. Well, you oh, that makes sense. That. Yeah, well, what, I, what I've been noticing is um, that because of the elections in the United States, a lot of people are... Um, really triggered by that all around the world and so we just want to strengthen it very right? much um, you know yeah. the election yeah. stuff is really coming up weak for you and um yeah you know, every country very and much. this is something that um for peace on earth you know we were talking about that like yeah. steering your reality in the way yeah. you, you want it to go a lot of people have weaknesses to author uh, authoritarian uh, figures that's what's yes. coming up for you yes and so like yes. it's, it's kind of like what mark said like being hunted being chased and then what's coming up for me with you is just like not like everything feels like it's out of flux like um that um you know that you're all of a sudden having to deal with two countries now instead of one country and this is coming up from uh, past life situations also of of being forced to leave your home being forced to um pay is what's coming up and it's it's a coming up yeah. karmic space also so we just want to strengthen you and everybody else to this um you mentioned that you prefer to call yourself a california uh californian instead of a uh, um a u.s mm. person and so we want to strengthen that yes. for you. there's wonderful people in the united states like right here right now on this radio show i we know there are. <laughs> we have brian the wonderful producer <laughs> I know. and you know and I know you know is. i meet all sorts of wonderful people and this is where I feel a lot of people are feeling divided 
Um, and we want to yeah. strengthen that for everybody. We're all connected. And there's good people everywhere. Yeah, Focus on uh, where you want to go and the people that you want to connect with. The um, Mark, I can feel you working on the lawyer thing. So what's what's going weak for her on the like the the authority you know like the authority figures coming in here? I get a little bit also about like uh, like the the whole election thing that divides people up uh, of the people who are about to be elected and all that, right? In, in, in Germany, we have a saying, if an election would change anything, if you can be sure it would be forbidden. So <laughs> don't, don't get uh, whatever the media is presenting you is going to be the next president, the next whatever. doesn't matter. To me, it's all, it's all you know, it, it's, it's... No, it, that's, that's true. Yeah, it's all a puppet I, thing, I realize right? that. It doesn't, doesn't, it, as long as yeah. you, if you buy into it, then you're hooked onto that field, and then... All of a sudden, right, you, you get you get your energy into that, and then it becomes part of your world. And what deep yeah, world no, is, yeah. is not as so it's not that important. It's important what what is in your world. I want you to make you strong to yep. stay inside of your world. Your boundaries are strong up. The lawyer stuff pulls up right and wrong. The question of being accused of accusing others. Yes. That kind of brings up your dad. I don't know if he's still alive or not. But no. being sometimes Yeah, he said I should have been a lawyer because I yeah. Okay. There we go. So Mark you hit it there. Long, all that. <laughs> like you know that they say the long arm of the law and all that, right? That's just yeah, like yeah. giving people yeah. the impression. Well, I, that, that is exactly they, what I go, want. I want the boost for going forward. There's no yeah. one place to hide. Yeah. Them. Yeah, there we go. It's yeah, no, I want the no boost for going life. forward in my life. Yeah, and yeah. my life doesn't include this or that, and my life includes my own magic carpet ride, my own world. There you go. And that's, that's and so, I really do want strength. But the carpet ride kind of is yeah. too. By the way, mm -hmm. the magic is strong, but the carpet, the carpet being on the floor, being tucked on the floor, and then the carpet ride is also about that. There's a lot of misinformation about about what, what the magic carpets are about and it comes in all these substances they're kind of bound to that which are also accused not in the right manners then it comes up plant ghosts which are kind of in a way they're not even angry they're sad that they've been mistreated and, and misacknowledged mm, okay let's make you strong to all that cool yeah, yeah i just want to fly <laughs> I can feel her shifting. Aurora, where are you now, number-wise? Um, probably two. Two? Hmm. Yeah. I got a two. Yeah, I got that you're um, at a two and your perception, again, we want to strengthen. Because mm -hmm. you're sliding down to mm -hmm. zero here. There's yeah, a little I, bit got, of, I got this yeah. thing going right it's kind of like um, what's coming up, this l last little bit of resistance to just letting this go is feeling like it's yeah. a, uh, that if you let it go and you're not on top of it, that um, something bad mm -hmm. is going to happen. And let's just strengthen for you and everybody else listening that, you know, the universe is not out to get you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, yes, um, no, I know. You, you know, that you, um, what you focus on, your fears, and this is what what's hard for yeah. people is we tend to attract our greatest fears because, you know, the energy Absolutely. we're putting into that. And so we just remind, and I know you mm -hmm. know this, but we're going to remind you of it mm -hmm. so that when yes. you go to this yes. place where you start to feel a little bit wobbly here, that, you know, you go and, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you, you put some strength into your, into your magic line. I, I would say that, you know, yes. uh, you would be way better off focusing on your magic line than a magic carpet. What do you say, Mark? Yeah, I'll go yeah. with that too. <laughs> yeah, because that belongs to you, okay? And so, Mark, right. just explain right. exactly what the magic line is for people that don't know. It's part oh, of our... Okay. It's, it's, you can picture this line in your body from the top of your head down to the end of your butt, so to speak, where the PC muscle is. And it's like it's part of it is also your spinal cord, but it goes all the way through you. That's where the energy runs, where the toruses go through in your body. And you can picture it in a, in a color you want to, or you can look inside of yourself, and you might 
see it in a, in a specific color because your subconscious will talk to you. And once you put tension inside of there, tense your PC muscle, which is the muscle that stops you from peeing. And you'll see once you let go, the energy moves all the way up to your frontal lobe. So yeah. put some tension on it, run your thought up and down your midline, which is the magic line. See the color and see how it gets more electricity on it, more, more power on it, and you will get stronger. Yes. Awesome. Thank this you. This is Robert exactly what I needed. Yes. <laughs> you noticed that yeah. shift, right? It's exactly way, what I needed. Exactly. Well, so 15 and, and I, can I ask you one thing very quickly? That magic line. Yeah, Mark. We yep. have to take another break because we oh, get okay. correcting and then we forget to um, that we're on Radio Land here. So, okay. <laughs> are you Aurora, having, thank you for uh, calling you in. Um, and this and is Colette Marie Stephan. You're listening day. to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. You can connect with me at thetruthisfunny.com and on social media at Facebook and Twitter at The Truth is Funny with Colette. We'll be right back. 1 800 930 2819. Let's make some shift happen. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Katherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. Tune in and let Katherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now through March for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. I am Colette Marie Stephan, and you're listening to The Truth is Funny. I have Mark Kenton back here with me today. We are taking calls. Uh, feel free to call in at 1-800-930-2819. I just wanted to take the opportunity to mention that um, I have been asked to host Dr. Pat's show on Monday, August 8th, and we were talking about sustainable living there um, uh, just a few minutes ago, and uh, th that show will be at 11 o'clock 
Pacific time, and I have a special guest coming on that's going to talk about community, uh, sustained living, etc. So I just wanted to um, let people know because it was a little bit short notice. <laughs> uh, Mark, uh, you and I, we're going to take this call from Carmen from Seattle. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, um, Carmen, are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Good Colette. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. What morning. can Mark and I do for Mark you today? To show, Colette. I need shift happen, please. Okay. <laughs> what, what would you like <laughs> shifted here? <laughs> I feel stuck in finances. Okay. It feels like and, whatever I do is not working. I need help. Okay. All right. So when you get in touch with your finances and and being stuck, I'm getting those two go pretty close together. If you were to put that on a scale from zero to 10, 10 being the worst, where are you at right now? I I would say at 10, I don't know if my perception is. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, you've been listening earlier. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> just a bit, actually, just a bit. <laughs> Carmen, one question. Are, uh, are you from the States or do you have a, um, what do you call that? What's the political correct term, a background from another country? No, I'm from another country, from Mexico. Mexico, okay. That's what I was thinking because that's the, yeah. that's the first, weakness that hits you is um, what a lot of people in the U.S., uh, the, the collectiveness thinks about Mexican, Mexican people, and, and mm-hmm. then what Mexicans themselves think about themselves in terms of what they deserve or not, or what their, um, what their opportunities will be or not, or that they get screwed over if it's 50-50 or something like that. So this all, it's it's nothing really to do with you. It's more of the collectiveness things and what your ancestors were thinking, right? And then mm-hmm. it has also weakness between male and female. Do you have Do you have some brothers? Oh, I do. What was that? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, you do. You do. Okay. Yeah. Are they doing financially better than you, or or the same, or worse? I don't, I don't think. The same. Mm-hmm. But you did it with less yeah. effort than they did? Um, I, I don't know. Well, what's coming up is that, that uh, subconsciously it's also that if somebody in your family w- w- would get it right, then it should be a male person. So there is also weakness, right? Can't ah, be there a we female, go. this mm-hmm. kind of stuff. So let, let's make you strong to all that. Let's... Get this cleared out of your system, quantum particles, atoms, molecules, cells, tissues, organ system, and your structure of the structure of your family. Make you strong to your brothers. Make you strong to your dad. I got, there's a lot of weaknesses around for some reason. How about now, Carmen? Where are you at? Um, I'll say a six, maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's it's sliding down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting more like a four, but yeah. that's yeah. cool. It just means again okay. to strengthen that uh, your intuition is connected here. That you can trust. See, it's coming up. Um, trust issues with intuition with women, basically, is what's uh, what I was picking mm-hmm. up. Also, I wanted to ask you: Are you actually a U.S. citizen? No. Okay, so this is coming up like um, what's coming up uh, collectively is Mexicans do not feel like they are actual U.S. citizens. Um, And so we want to strengthen that, that everybody that, you know, that um, is part of that melting pot of, you know, of that country that that they're accepted. So we want to strengthen that. There's just it's just coming up a lot of. kind of interpersonal fighting. And when I say interpersonal fighting, I mean, when Mark mentioned your masculine and your feminine, that comes up with inside of you, but then also um, living in a country when you're not originally from that country, we want to strengthen everybody to that, that when you are at home in your body, you can go any place in the world and you're going to feel at home. And so, and also what's mm-hmm. coming up is being in the right place at the right time and so we strengthen that for you. And also the speed of what's happening in the world and the events that are happening. We strengthen that for you and everybody else. That, um, as I said before, 
Uh, Mark and I were talking about this, like people are saying they want peace. Uh, Peace comes from within. And so we want to, you know, um, when you get strong within yourself, then you start to feel like, okay, now I can move forward and do things. So we just clear this this, um, energy that's coming in from several, several generations here. And I just wanted to check in with you again here. Where are you at now? I'll say it uh, too. I'm feeling like tingly. I don't know. There you go. Good. Good. <laughs> tingly is good. <laughs> okay, you kind of your age. May I ask how old you are? I'm 39. Okay. Uh, okay, that that's very common. 39 or 29, 49. That always triggers like the next big number. And. Um, in your case, you energetically jump to the 50 right away, right? So let's make you strong and mm, delete all that, delete all the fears around that. Then it, then time comes up as a weakness, like that you haven't done it yet, so you like running out of time. Is more yeah, of yeah. <laughs> Do you have yeah. a child? No. But you want to? No, I don't. Yeah, you don't. Okay. There's a weakness too? Yeah. Uh, like, okay, let's... Mm-hmm. Well, it's coming up um, as soon as you said that your energy went weak at the thought of having a child. And that's coming up from um, just past situations of not being able to look after your children properly. Like not having enough food, not having clean water, all of these things. This is coming from um, not just Mexico, actually. It's coming from a lot of different lifetimes so we're just going to strengthen you to that um that you wouldn't want to bring it's just coming up you wouldn't want to bring a child into this world Mm -hmm. uh, in a world like this Mm -hmm. and so we want to strengthen that for everybody that you know if you you bring a child into this world they obviously wanted to come here (laughs) (laughs) on some level right (laughs) and if you don't have children sometimes what happens people think oh well i don't have any kids so now i don't have to worry about the energy from my children affecting me but quite often, um, unborn descendants that could have come through during your well, life. Even worse, right? Yeah. <laughs> they can be pretty noisy, too. And I'm picking up a little bit of that oh, energy man. from you. So we just strengthen all of that <laughs> for you. But what's going on in your relationship? Are you, like, set up in a way that you say that's good? Or are you um, still looking for the right significant other, so to speak? Um, I'll say we're good. But you'll have to ask him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So he just Okay, I'm just gonna correct, not talk about yeah. it. Okay. I'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just laughing because, like, um, it's coming up a karmic space, like of needing to be right, <laughs> and that's like that right, the right side of your body that is like kind of more the masculine qualities we carry in ourselves, and on some level, it's kind of like you feel very strongly in some ways that you're a better man than any man out there. And so uh, that, that's just coming up energetically. So we're just going to strengthen you that you're a woman in this lifetime. <laughs> you know? and, and that that also is a very powerful place to be. <laughs> so we just strengthen that. Mark, do you have any um, last no, shifts here that you would like to do for her? Um. Well, Seattle itself is weak. It's the weather that is weak. So how come you pick the place where it rains all day? So let's make you strong to the raining part of it. And you turn weak on that, by the way. And 11 in the morning is the weakest time for some reason. Um, what happens at 11 in the morning? I don't know. I'll pay attention today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pay attention because okay. um, he, that goes really weak for you. And so there's something like sometimes what will happen is is we have like all our memories are stored in our cells. They're stored in our spinal fluid, in our central nervous system. And so uh, sometimes if people have something um, that happened bad at that time of day um, and it can be like, you know, something in, uh, that just you don't even re- really remember, but you got bad news at that time of day, or it could be something simple like that's the time that you were expected to do this or that. We just want to strengthen you to pay attention to the energy in your body 
And yeah, 9 o'clock at night. 9 o'clock at night, 11 in the morning. It's kind of like 9-11, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. There but we go. 9 at night, 11 in the morning. You want to pay attention to that, what happens and stuff. And and Mark, you know, like, okay. again, um, her running the energy and, and getting really strong to her energy so that she doesn't fall into the reaction, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just would like to check in with you. How are you feeling now? I'm, I'm better. I'll say zero. <laughs> Well, great, because we need to take another break and we have another caller. <laughs> so perfect okay. timing. Thank, Thank you so much. Take calling. care, Carmen. And if you want to, you can visit us. Thank you. Okay. Hook up with Energetic Upgrade. And, yeah, stay in touch. <laughs> cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. This, is, this is Colette Marie Steffen with The Truth is Funny. Uh, it is a real pleasure to connect with all of you. I want to thank people for um, the great reviews I'm getting on my book and the, the feedback. Uh, the Truth is Funny Shift Happens. And also, I, I just wanted to mention, I have another book coming out in uh, at sometime this month. Uh, it's a collaboration with 19 other um, authors, and I'll be featuring some of those people in the upcoming shows in the fall. And so um, this is... Cool, I'm convinced. Yeah, 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 I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited excited about uh, collaborating with all these wonderful people. Uh, but we'll be right back here and we have another caller. We'll take this call right when we come back. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Katherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. Tune in and let Katherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now through March for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Com. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Twelve thirty, 
This is Colette Marie Steffen. I have Mark Kettenbach on the show today. And we also have another uh, caller we're going to get to in a minute. But Mark, you and I just wanted to talk about the um, what came up when we were working with this last person about um, people having a fear that they can't do this for themselves. Do you want to just give your advice on that? <laughs> sure. A lot of people, I had that years ago too, that you, we have the tendency to, to give special qualities or special things we are not really, maybe 100% understanding, giving out to specific people that they're only able to do that. But I can tell you, uh, when you start that journey and you put more time into it and you realize how stuff has been done, you can do it. Everybody can do it. And I'm going one step further. Everybody should do it. They should start. <laughs> and that's like breathing. You should be able to shift, shift, shift and change energetically um, stuff that holds you back from, from whatever you want to experience in life. And the good thing is, even though people a lot of times, like you said, Colette, right, they're even doubting afterwards when stuff is shifted, they want to have the tendency to jump back to where the problem was, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I've been um, really, uh, when we are saying that you want to get more of what you want, it's so simple just to yeah. focus on what you want. But it sounds simple, <laughs> but a lot of people are challenged by that. And so that's why we like to share these tools, like to really um, step into your, like go inward, get the answers from yourself, be, be qualified um, within yourself is what's coming up. And, you know, that's why we like to share easy to use tools that if they're, they're very effective, if you put them into use throughout your day rather than, um, you know, focusing on the problem. Um, that, that's, the, that, yeah. that's the reason, right? While we put up yeah. this online program so people yeah. can, can start learning from home. And then if they want to know more about it, they can see us live. We do events. But well, we can't do that many events so it fits for everybody. But well, the online program does. You can buy it anytime. It's like three ninety nine Canadian dollars. It's two ninety nine euros or U.S. dollars. That's a very fair price. You learn the whole foundations. You have one year of access where you can look it over and over and over again until it kind of like you can sing it at night. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> sing it in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, right. And that will help. I, I yeah. guarantee you. you yeah. Do the program. It will help. Yeah, well, that's what I'm hearing from people, and I love it. <laughs> yep, me too. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this call from Trish from British Columbia. Sure. Trish, are you there? Hello. Hi. Hi, Trish. How, what can we do for you Thank today? Thank you for taking my call. Oh, you're um, welcome. You're very welcome. What can we do for you today? I've noticed over the last couple of days since our our session Mm -hmm. that uh, my vision in my, vision in my left eye has gotten worse and I'm getting pain. Okay. So the left eye. Okay. Um, give me a number. Um, <laughs> kind of panicking about it. So it's at 10. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, kind of I, never I, is, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to strengthen this for you because, um, I had, so many people in the last two months with left eye issues and I got a sty on my left eye and my daughter scratched her left eye and her cat's left eye blew up. And it's kind of like this energy that was coming in was very, uh, uh, it's very much like, um, women, you know, um, if you, if you're looking out of sore eyes, it's hard to see the world with joy. And this is coming up from the feminine energy. And so we want to strengthen that for everybody uh, that the left, uh, the left side of the body is, is equal and even to the right side. And then everything that you have seen and that you, and, and for you, it's coming up what you haven't seen as a woman. And so we want to strengthen that. Mark, what are you getting? I, I, I did get also stuff around not being able to see it from the with a female point of view mm -hmm. or the, the female eyes, and then also um, that she in herself judges herself like from the male perspective. So let's straighten her to that. And you've had surgery on your eyes. Yes. Correct. Yeah, there's yeah. some uh, some energy coming in around that. Let's just strengthen the fears around that. Did they do it right? Were they, you know, all of this stuff? So uh, I'll work on that. Mark, what else are you picking up for her? 
Um, Trish, do you have sometimes, like, if you get angry, that feeling you want to scratch somebody's eyes out, you know, that kind of, like... Um, <laughs> I may have in the past, but since I had the surgery, no. <laughs> no okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you have karma with that specific thing, with with tearing people's eyes out. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so we're going to... Let's get this karma out of your way so you don't have to relive what you've been doing to other people in other lifetimes. Mm. Then there's a big fear about losing your eyesight being blinded, also Correct. being, being bl uh, like also numbing yourself down, being blind to specific stuff in your life. Are you married or in a relationship? Yes, I'm married. Mm -hmm. Is there stuff where you kind of like agreed on not to look further because otherwise you would have been forced to make a decision for yourself? Uh, don't understand. Okay. Well, meaning, is your husband doing doing stuff or, or behaving in a way that you overlook? Because you know once you really get yourself into looking onto it, and then you have to discuss it with him, and that would uh, bring you to further actions you might not have been willing to go yet or something like that. Okay, so we're just going to, because we're going to run out of time here right Oops, away. Okay. Yeah, no, it's okay. We're just, we're shifting as much as we can, as fast as we can. I want to, I want to just check in with you. How are you feeling right now? How about a six? Yeah, it's moving. Okay, so we're going to strengthen you to this. Um, again, focusing on what you want, where you want to go, how mm -hmm. it's coming up, how you want to carry yourself as a woman on this planet. The your responsibilities. Too, right? Yeah, there we go. So we strengthen all of that. See, a lot of times when you have a weakness in the eyes, it's actually coming from the ovaries. It's quite common. And so we just strengthen that again. So that, um, there we go. And we're running out of time here. Can you just give us a number quick here <laughs> where you're at so we don't just leave you hanging? I'm uh, feeling about a two. A two, yay! Oh, okay. I can live with that. Yeah, Thank Mark, you. you can. We can. We'll, by the time the show is over, three minutes from now, you'll be a zero. <laughs> Thank you for calling in, Trish. Thanks for calling in, Trish. Have a good day. <laughs> Mark, Thank you very much. Uh, we've got about Bye. a minute here. Do you want to share any last thoughts with people here about this? Piece? Yes, since we were talking about focusing your your energy towards where you want to go, Colette and I, we are thinking about doing something on Facebook for free every month while we pick out the biggest weakness we find on this planet and start correcting it for half an hour and people who hooking on to it can boost it so the corrections are stronger we'll we'll work this out and probably get it get it going by september we'll do some more um advertising then about it but you're also right now welcome to keep it in your the back of your head that there's something <laughs> coming out for free well, we're starting really changing the world into a place we would like to have it. Thank you, Mark. It, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to say thank you for being on the show. Thank you for the well, listening. Thank you for calling. having me. Yeah, and thank you, Brian. And this is Colette Marie Stefan. You can reach me at thetruthisfunny.com, energeticupgrade.com, and talesfromthevector.com. I just wanted to mention my paintings are now going to be available in the next week or so, as well as the energy correcting cards. So thank you, everyone, for listening, and uh, we will see you next Wednesday. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stefan. Tune in to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stefan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmos joke. The truth is funny. Visit the truth is funny.com for more information. That's the truth is funny.com.